Anthony Edwards is emerging as one of the faces of the NBA. But don't take our word for it. This is how NBA players really feel about the young phenom. Ant and fellow USA basketball star Tyrese Halliburton are on the shortlist of great players under 25. But Halley said that when he saw Anthony Edwards first fall out overseas, well, see for yourself. Yeah, I mean, Ant is amazing. Like, the stuff that he does on the floor is ridiculous. Like, that first game against Germany, where he just took over the whole second half, that was like the greatest performance I've ever seen in person. I was like, almost in awe. I was like, this is ridiculous. Like, I was like, bro, you look like, it's like the bean right now. Like the one he shot the baseline fade and double pumped over Schroeder. I was like, no, that's like, I, in the moment, I was like, no way. No way you even thought about doing that. Like, that's ridiculous. Anytime you hear a guy compare someone to the bean, Kobe Bryant, you're in good territory. Austin Reeves talked about the same Kobe-esque shot against Germany. Yeah, I don't know if I knew he was that good. Uh, the Germany game in Abu Dhabi, when he just took over in the second half, um, you know, I remember he made a, a baseline fade, uh, like double pump, and I was I was on the right wing, and I don't know what everybody else was thinking at the time, but I was, it was a close game, and I was just like, Everything went slow motion again, and I was just like, that might be one of the best shots I've ever seen in person. Like, the degree of difficulty, time and score, all that for him to, you know, have confidence in himself to shoot that and make that, that was, uh, it was really impressive. But if you're gonna be Gen Z Kobe, you gotta be good on both ends. Uh, when he first got drafted, you could see that he had the intangibles. He has the skill set to be one of the best on-ball defenders in our league, and, um, you know, again, it's, it's, it's a healthy challenge when you go against someone like that. Even as young, he slides his feet. He's very physical. Um, and, and he takes that challenge very personal. And uh, he got a few stops. We look at each other. We wink at each other. A few, you know, possessions that he had on me. Um, and, and that's what makes this league great. You can have those mini battles. A lot of guys are athletic enough to be good perimeter defenders, but most of them aren't competitors. That's why Donovan Mitchell knows and is something special. I gotta say, Ant, Ant bring it every night. Yes, sir. Ant, every Ant night. a dog, man. Like yeah. I, I think Ant's a guy like he bring the best out of you. Like you yeah, know what I'm saying? Like yeah, he talk, he he he, he talks and all that. But like he as a competitor, like that's what you want. Like you want to yeah. go against you know you know a guy like him. You know what I mean? So hey, I would say he's probably number one for sure, just because of the energy he brings. Anthony Edwards is already one of the top shooting guards in the league. Do you think it's him, Mitchell, Devin Booker, or someone else? Let us know in the comments. Although, Austin Rivers seems pretty sure of his answer. This guy demands that respect, and he's going out there now and doing it every single night. He is on his best nights, and how he's playing right now, the best guard in the NBA. Yes, I said that. He's a bad man, two-way player, three-level scorer, clutch, can finish at the basket, mid-range, shoot the long ball, off the dribble, or catch and shoot. Ant's been a superstar since high school, though it took Jason Williams a second to figure that out. So I was coaching a... Uh a uh, high school uh, uh, high school all-star game in Atlanta when he was still in high school his senior year and I don't know none of these kids man these young kids I don't know I'm just coaching like just just to be there but I know what time it is with me now just show up and that's all we want you to do so I'm there coaching and Ants on my team jump ball Ants on the bench I don't know who Ant is but jump ball as soon as the other team get the possession I swear I but it didn't take two dribbles I get a tap on my shoulder oh yeah <laughs> uh, it's the director of the whole whole turn. Uh -huh. Why ain't number two in the game? I'm like, I don't know. Is he supposed to be? <laughs> yeah. Uh, he's the number one player in the country. But time out. <laughs> time out. Hey, Ant, go in. Who you want me to get, coach? Whoever you want, bro. But to be a real superstar, that needs to translate to winning. The Timberwolves have been fighting all year for the top spot in the West, taking down some title favorites along the way. In the first few weeks of the season, Ant and the T-Wolves beat both of the best teams in each conference, the Nuggets and the Celtics. After he beat up Boston, Tatum had nothing but praise for Minnesota's star. And one of my favorite guys watching the league, you know how explosive and talented he is and um, continues to get better each and every year. Um, and I just like how he competes. He competes on both ends of the floor. Um, and he made some big, big plays uh, for his team tonight, especially down the stretch. 
Edwards has been one of the most clutch players in the NBA this year. The team sometimes revolves around him too much for the last play of the game, but you couldn't really ask for a better superstar to bail out a team in crunch time. Just ask Bruce Brown, who called Ant the toughest guy in the league to guard. Dude, is I would say this year the toughest players to guard was Ant and Shea. We're gonna ask you about Shea later, but Jesus Christ, Ant, Ant, Ant was cooking. Cooking, Every, doing everything though, all three levels. Y'all, I'm gonna be honest, I thought he was gonna hit that shot. Uh, game six. The play Bruce is talking about is the end of game five in last year's playoffs. When the Nuggets beat the Wolves in the first round, Brown was guarding Ant on the game's final shot, the one that would have sent the clinching game to OT. Saying that the toughest guy to guard is either Ant or Shea, you know, just the guy who's second in MVP odds right now, that's pretty good company, right? Maybe Bruce has just never guarded Luka, I guess. Even Luka, who is definitely the hardest guy in the league to guard, by the way, praised Edwards. I mean, we want Rudy to play make, you know. Uh, that's why we double Edwards, which is he's a big problem. Uh, but he started talking to me in third quarter, I think, or second quarter. So, you know, when you start that, you know I'm coming back to you. You love to see a guy praise an opponent while also refusing to back down. The Luka Booker rivalry hasn't really been a rivalry the last couple of years. Is Ant and Luka gonna be the next best rivalry in the NBA? Let us know in the comments. Because if that's the case, Ant might be the next face of the league. He was a replacement saying, like, ah, oh, we don't wanna be here, I don't wanna play. Like, a big deal on guys' resumes is All Star Game MVP. We've seen Kobe win it over the years, AI, Shaq, LeBron, KD, Steph. Like, when you look at the guys, I don't understand why a young Anthony Edwards wouldn't want his name sketched in stone next to the likes of those guys in anything. Because anytime you can be next to the likes of those guys, I just don't understand why you wouldn't want that. And so to play defense backwards, um, to shoot left-handed threes, I, I thought that was a little outlandish. I thought it was a little crazy. And like I said, a little disheartening just because of who he is, who we all think he is going to be to this league. And a part of being the face of the NBA, and I keep see seeing so many people talk about being the face in the NBA, a part of being the face in the NBA is also being a steward of the game a steward of the NBA. When you look at LeBron James and how long he's been the face of the NBA, you look at Steph Curry and being one of the faces of the NBA, they're stewards of the game. Of all things NBA, as the face of the NBA, you're kind of in direct partnership with the NBA to continue to move this thing forward. And so, and, and maybe Anthony Edwards doesn't want to be the face of the NBA because everybody don't want that. And I get it. Like there's different things that comes with being face of the NBA that not everybody wants. And he's entitled to want that, but if, if Anthony Edwards is who I think he is, somebody needs to be teaching him that. If he is who I think he is, which I think he is exactly who I think he is. Ant spent the whole All-Star game shooting left-handed, proving just how little he cared about the whole thing. Draymond thought it was ridiculous. It takes way more than just playing ball to be the face of the league. But Paul George is still convinced Ant is one of those guys. And he's smooth, like I love him. He knows how <laughs> to he knows how to use that athleticism the right way. That's what I love about him. He's switching his Because he goes to the lane sometimes and it's like a finesse, like I don't have to punch on you. I'm gonna just mm -hmm. go around you with this Euro. And then you forget, like, he can go upstairs with you too. You that's know, that's what's scary. That's what's scary. Like, no is he gonna, fear. you know, yeah. roll me so that's, or that's is he why, gonna... That's why it's such a great package that he can either dunk on you or he can slow one step you and get to his layups because you don't know, like, his athleticism's like, shit, I gotta be ready. Like, I gotta jump. Speaking of dunking, remember that monster jam on Trey Murphy? Because Trey does. Power that he went back on the tomahawk was so strong. I said, I'm not getting that. So I bailed out in the air in the middle of the this middle. decision. Yeah, yeah, I bailed out because if I foul him and he still dunks it and they're on a run like this, it's just not a good idea. Of course, the best players to talk about Ant, his former teammates. D'Angelo Russell played with Ant right out of the gates and was able to see him grow. I mean, I'm more, impri I'm more impressed with his consistency. Honestly, um, he's, he's becoming a pro. You know, um, when you're young in the league, you got to learn how to be a pro if you don't come from 
maybe the collegiate level that's kind of preparing you for it. And he was a one and done guy, so he didn't really get the opportunity, kind of like me. Um, so him being in the league at a young age, he's learning how to be a pro on and off the floor, and you can see the development. Um, him, 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 um, focusing on his craft and his consistency with his with his routine. I think that's what's allowing him to be consistent the way he is tonight. Man, I know if I say this, man, I know y'all go to the world go look at me like I'm crazy, and I go put all that pressure on that kid. But man, I told him, man, I told him, man, you got a chance, man, you got a chance, brother, to be Michael Jordan, brother. You really do. You really do. You really do. I've been around a lot of them. Man, the kid doesn't indulge in anything negative, JJ. The next Michael Jordan. That's some high potential. Do you think Anthony Edwards has the chance to become the next superstar? Or is he overhyped? Let us know in the comments, then watch one of these videos next. Listen to the wrong opinion, useless NBA trivia, and garbage rankings for more NBA content.